Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hey Man. I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. What's going on, man? Hey, man. Hey, man. What's up? What's up? Hey, first of all, guys, um, big thanks to all of you, again, who are watching and listening and uh, are part of this amazing growth we're having on the podcast. So thank you all so much. Thank you for liking and sharing not only the podcast, but the mini cow clip that has gone bananas. <laughs> um, so thank you to all of the oldies and the newbies who are here for the first time. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. Oh, this, oh, we'll talk about this. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, write it down. Co comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. Um, when you hear this one, we we'll will be, be in, in Europe. in Europe. I think we'll be in London. Who knows? Somewhere in the UK, I think. We'll be over we'll be. there. Um, and we can't, can't wait for the, um, the uh, European tour. It's going to be in Dublin. It's going to be great. And uh, uh, so uh, much fun. Everywhere is going to be great. So thank you all so much. We, we wouldn't be able to do this. So grateful for all of you. We wouldn't be able to do any of this without you. Um, and then when we get back in December, man, we're in cities uh, where we always sell out. So if you want to see us in December, oh, we're going to go to Naples too, where we always sell out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Naples is November like 14th and 15th, I, I want to say. Is it 13th and 14th? It's that Tuesday and Wednesday. One of those. Two of those four yep. days we just said. Uh, we're in um, Naples, Florida there. And then December is like, Places where we, St. Louis, Kansas City, Spokane, Mohegan Sun, Ooh. and Phoenix. Okay. These are all sellout joints. So if you guys want to get to those shows, I, I the Mohegan Sun ones are, they're already adding two extra shows. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be bananas. Uh, December is going to be crazy. Europe's going to be amazing. Um, we, Jacob and I have a lot of fun things that we're filming that we can't wait for you guys to mm -hmm. check out. Um, and again, like I can't, I, I've done a lot of things in my career, which is a nice way of saying I'm, I'm an older gentleman. You're old. Your I've birthday a, was yesterday. I, I know. I've done a lot of things in my career and I can truly say this is the most fun I've ever had. So, and thanks to you and thanks to, when I say you, I mean, Jacob Wolf. Mm. Um, and thanks to all you guys watching and listening. So I, I will say also, this is the most fun I've had in any career in my life though. Also. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. I'm having the time of my life. Um, all right. All right. Um, okay. So yeah, well, let's get into it La yesterday. So today is the 20th of October. Yesterday, the 19th was my birthday. Yeah. Hey. One year closer to 60. Yeah, Woo! That's not celebratory at all. Woo. But I mean, technically, you're one year closer to 62. Yeah, but you're way closer than <laughs> I am. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a By dick. a couple years. What a yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, but first of all, okay, let's, let's go over a couple things. Do you want to just recap what the, the night was, or are we talking about something else? No, we're going to talk about the night. Okay, okay, first, okay. first of all, so guys, you know, Beth always is the best planner. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> Beth is the oh. best planner. And I was like, man, I'm going to plan this dinner. I'm going to plan this plan night. Plan the night. You're going to plan your birthday. I'm planning the night. She was like, great. So I, I didn't want to go down to the strip to eat dinner. I wanted to go try something new off the strip. Yeah. So I Google. But hopefully close to the strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I Google steak restaurants right off the strip. Yeah. This place comes up, Echo and Rig. By the uh, way, me menu looks, yo, dude, great. It, it had I, I did I saw two uh, appetizers or sides. Appetizers, yep, yep, yep. One was a a uh, pork belly burnt, burnt end. end. Fuck you. That is like I we're gonna eat, we're uh, gonna we're gonna have to go yes. eventually. Like so, pork belly burnt, burnt, and then it had a bone marrow carne asada. And how, I, I'm confused on how that works. Like, not sure, but I was gonna order it. I mean, I was excited to see what it looked like. Yeah. I, I, how do you make bone marrow? Like, is it carne asada bone marrow or like, but is it all bone marrow carne asada? I don't know or precisely what carne asada means. I know it means meat asada. I wonder if they take out the bone marrow and then meat like asada? grill it. What is, what is asada, asada, asada? Let's guess before we. Carne asada is, is, is steak. It's beef. Yeah, but carne means meat and asada means what? Well, there's also like a pollo asada though. So like. Right. That's what I'm saying. Asada. 
it's like a like a style of cooking it, I guess. I'm gonna guess the pollo asada. If you get like when you get at a taco stand, yeah. it's like a spicier chicken. It's not like your regular chicken taco. So uh, I was I, gonna guess it meant flat because carne asada is usually flat. It's like a skirt steak. It's like a different type. So of, let's just guess. I think it's real a quick. different type, like a different section of the cow. I think asada means pounded out. Carne asada, pounded out. Matt, did you Google it? Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and say the carne asada is like, it's a, I don't know, the asada is the style and the way they cook it. Yeah. Or maybe I thought at first I meant, it, I thought it meant meat on the side. Nope. That's not true. Yeah. Because it's the main part of the dish. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Anyways. Yeah. Roasted or grilled. So it's the style and the way they okay, cook it. Okay. My bad. So, anyways, Jacob wins. Yeah. Um, Who speaks the Spanish now? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, hiya. <laughs> so, so, um, we're going and we get in the car and the Uber goes and it says 37 minutes. And I was like, that seems a long way away. We also left a couple minutes late. We left 20 minutes late. Was it 20? Yeah. Oof. And that, that's we right. were there two minutes late, but I was like, that nah, will be all right. Cars outside. We'll get there. Yeah. Like we left 20 minutes. Late. So, so like if we, but it still was too far away, but I, as we're driving guys, we started to drive into part of Las Vegas that none of us had ever had ever been before. No, no, no. And I, yeah, I was like, are we in Reno? I didn't I, know where we were. No, no idea. And it turns out just off the strip was 30 minutes away. You know, what's crazy is like, as we were driving, my, my girlfriend and mom was sitting next to me in the back and she was, I saw her looking at her phone and doing a lot. And then eventually she like slapped me and I looked over and she pointed her phone at me and she goes, are we even going to make the show? And I was like, what do you mean? And then she went back to her phone and then like mapped it out. And she was like, this is the time it takes to get from the echo and rig to planet Hollywood. And I was like 32 minutes. I was like, Oh, and then her and I sat back down. I was like, should I say something? Yes. And then we got like kind of there and you were like, it'll be 15 minutes there. And then right when you said that, I looked at her, she was like, say something, say something. It's not 15 minutes. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, Hey, yeah. Hey, hey, it's not, it's not 15 minutes. And we turned right away and drove straight to the strip, straight to the strip. But we did find a steakhouse that was right next to with zero people in it. And it was awesome. Yeah. It was really good. It was such a it's good meal. Strip. Yeah. Strip, so, the, strip my, shops, my own, strip steak, strip steak. The only thing for me was the lobster Mac was, uh, yeah, but, but the steak was fire. Anyways. So my first attempt at planning the night shits the bed. And now we're hungry and we're half an hour away from the strip and we have to turn, cancel the reservations and just drive to the strip and hope that we, we were in the car for over an hour. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were in the car for easily over an hour, like probably an hour 15. Like it was, Man, we were I, the, by the way, here's the thing though. You know how good mom is at planning stuff and yeah, it's but your I was birthday. trying to That's do fair. some, be a grown up and yeah, do it myself. It's fairly awesome. But the, the, your birthday is the day where you don't I get know. to act like a grown up or you don't have to. And people get to do things for you. Anyway, That's the best part. So then we go, we have a good time. Yeah. Uh, dinner was great. Yep. Um, and we went to see Chris Angel. Yep. Mind Freak. And I will tell you, so I had watched a bunch of episodes of Mind Freak. Dude, we watched a bunch of Mind Freak. Yep. Are you and, kidding me? And I always loved his energy mm. and what felt like his desire just to fucking be the best. Yep. I loved that kind of. Yep. And um, if you like Chris Angel and you want to see the tricks that he, the big tricks he did on his show, yeah, this cool. is the show for you. Absolutely. Yeah, this is the show. If you like Chris Angel and you are like, hey, I only want to see new Chris Angel bits, this is not this the show. This is not for the you. show for you. Because no. he says right at the top, I do my I do my greatest hits. I'm doing That's my exactly greatest exactly what yeah, he I'm says. I do my greatest yeah, yeah. hits per se. And I was like, okay, I'm yeah. in for that. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm in for that. I will tell you something else. And, and we've seen Carrot Top and Chris Angel, mm. and they don't not dress alike. <laughs> it's like Carrot Top's ripped, isn't he? Yeah, but so is Chris Angel. Is he? Yo, dude, he he was I mean, he did walk right in front of us. He, he did appear in a crowd. They both jacked, but but he had big hands. But Chris Angel, which probably helps with the illusion stuff, where he can hide things. Yeah, yeah. Chris Angel has Carrot Top's wardrobe, but in black. Yeah, okay. And they don't not have the same hair. They don't not look alike. Yeah, I mean, like, they're not. 
That's not like the. That's they, the they, real magic. Chris Angel is Carrot Top. Have you ever seen Chris Angel and Carrot Top in the same no, room? They're the same person. Yeah, it's like have you it's seen just, Batman and Bruce Wayne in the same room? No. Yeah, but but yeah, but but yeah. Don't which one of that? those is Bruce Wayne? Carrot Top's Bruce Wayne and Chris Angel's Batman because he's dressed in black. Ooh. Well, Here, I mean I, that makes sense because the, the, he's darker. But uh, I mean, like clothing wise, yes. that's what I mean. But in, a, in his and Carrot Top is all about love and light, and and there's some darkness. They're in, legit polar opposites. It's actually yeah, perfect. They are. It's like I Batman want, and Robin. How great of a Batman sitcom, and Bruce Wayne. How great of a sitcom would it be if they had Carrot Top and Chris Angel living oh in the same house? God. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's just all magic and props. Like any, like when, like Chris, and you know, they argue because Chris Angel will flush the toilet and like the water will shoot up into his butthole like of a day. And he's like, Carrot Top! <laughs> you know, and he, and they, ah! And you know, and then, or, the, or like, uh, or like Carrot Top is going to eat something. He puts something in the microwave and he pulls it out as something else. It's and, a dove. And every time, yeah, <laughs> a bunch of them come out. And every time Chris Angel comes around the corner and he goes, Mind Freak. Yeah, and then just walks hello, away. You're hilarious. Be, or if he just went, Mind Freak, and then smoke cloud and disappeared, <laughs> be fucking awesome. Let's fucking make that happen. I Are you kidding you, me? I, this is the first Like thing, a full house style dude, show with their hair Top and similar. Chris Angel. Oh my God. They're, they're, they're kind of, I like their flow, you know, their dress style. They both kind of look like weirdly ripped vampires. Dude, it's like, if you, if you, look, if you're looking for, a pale, this is how somebody described me, right? Pale, oddly ripped, fifty-year-old man. Yeah, that's what those two dudes are. You too. Yeah. Oh, I, I, know, I know. But it's funny because, like, you're you're not that pale. You know, not on the arms. No, or your face. But the minute you like, your legs are like see-through. Yeah, 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 they're like underwater stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I get, but I can't. I'm also the same. Like my back tans really well. My yeah. chest does not. Really? I don't know why. Like my back and my chest are two different colors. That's interesting. Really interesting. I don't know why, but it I, is how it is. I like this hypothesis that they are the same person, but one's just the darker. But we a sitcom with the two of them. Thank you for being my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what would that? Or like an office style one where they're like, like they do confessionals and stuff and whatnot. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that I think would be so. Or like, like, how about like a modern family type? That but one what would we called? Angel and the Carrot? Uh, mm, cr cr uh, carrot and Chris. Uh, carrot and Chris isn't bad. Or Chris and Carrot. Chris and Carrot. Uh, <laughs> carrot. Um, we let's think on that. I would love to hear some suggestions from you all. Carrot what? Angel. Chris Top. Cr carrot. Um, an Angel. I don't know. We'll think about it. Uh, anyways, and so we saw that. That was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had a good fun. time. He walked right in front of us. He literally did a trick, vanished, and then was in the odd, like literally in the audience in the like row in front of us. And then us. like walked in front of us. Yeah. And, and both both Iman and I were like, oh my God, Chris Angel touched my hand. Yeah. I um so that was we fun. practically met him. We're practically best friends already. We so. <laughs> <laughs> we left. If something happened to me that hasn't happened to me in so long. I smoked some weed and got a crazy anxiety attack. Yeah, that was weird. And had to leave the casino. Had to go straight home. Do we want to talk about what happened before that, though? Before we went to the Bellagio? Uh, oh, okay, and and, and, and then... Because we, we should talk about that. Okay, like, yeah. that, that, that was... But in general, that's... Okay, in general, guys, J Jacob, and, and this is so humbling, we, I, I don't know about you, but the have you noticed the uptick in the amount of people that are walking up to us? Yeah. We got when, when you and I were waiting for the ladies to use the bathroom after the after show. the show, like twelve people came up to us. It was yeah. nuts. Do, do you find it more when we're together? Definitely. Me too. Because like I feel like some people just see one of us and they're like, oh, I wonder if the other one is there, and then they spend time looking for the other one of us, mm -hmm. and then they lose the first one that they saw, and then we're gone. Yeah. But also, we were in a stationary position in front of a motorcycle in a glass case, so we were kind of in a spot for yeah. people to see us, which is totally fine. But I. I love when people come up me and too. say, hey, because me too. It's, it's, just, it's just it's just cool to me. Like the fact that people know who I am or get or give a that's give it. enough Yo, dude, of he, a fuck to come over and say what's up and take a photo. Here's what's incredibly humbling is. Is that somehow we've made enough left enough of a mark or an impact or an or, impact on these people where it's important to them to get a picture with us. Yeah. I, I find that incredibly humbling yep. 
that that happens. So like, yeah. So I, I I'm always I always say yes. Me too, hundred percent. Unless it's like a tough spot or there's something specific that I'm doing. I've the only times I also really say no is like when people ask for photos before the show. I usually or like during your show. They're like like when I'm setting up merch. I agree. The In only the, reason I say no is because I'm like, hey, I, maybe I don't want to take away from you on stage. I'm like, hey, you're you know you're missing a really good set right now. I'm gonna be here after the show at the same exact spot. Come see me then. We'll grab a photo. I think the only time I've ever said no is I was eating dinner with grandma and grandpa and me. Yeah. But then you still went over and took the photo. After I eat. 100%. After I eat. 100%. Yeah, yeah. But I, I will say also, I'm glad that we, in what we do, we leave enough of an impact also where people give enough of a fuck to come say hey to us, like you said. But also, like, I'm glad we leave enough of a, a good impact that people feel comfortable enough to approach us and, and, and say hello. Because I know there's definitely some celebrities or artists that I, that I like that I would consider not approaching just... Because I don't know, they don't seem like an approachable person. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm glad we give that off because we we always try to give the people person this because that's who we are. Well, we are approachable, and I would th- I would say that there there is an every man quality to what we do yep. because that is who we are. Yeah. Yeah. We we yeah that's who we are. Yeah. Um. So we leave the theater. <laughs> we go downstairs. We try to decide what we're going to do, where we're going to go. Yep. And take it from there. So we get downstairs and we pull off to the side off the escalator because, you know, everyone's pouring out and we have to want to just kind of figure out where we're going. Also, mom and Iman wanted to send up uh, the cameras to take photos and a video. So we sat there. They're so amazing. I love it. We posed and we did all that. And as we're picking up our phones or their phones, two guys come like they like show up from behind you. I saw them. And dude noticed me first. And he just screamed, like blew the top off. Like the whole casino floor heard him from if you were close to us, if you were on the other side of the casino, you heard this dude scream, holy shit, is that Jacob Wolf? What's up, bro? And oh my God, is that Josh? And him and his buddy just start freaking out. Freaking out. And again, look, I've actually never had, like that was like a fangirl moment from two dudes, which I... I love like that's uh, that might be the most extreme reaction I've ever had. It was so extreme. I thought it was a joke. Dude, what you and I were like, were like after it was real, both Iman and mom were like, we thought you guys planted that. And I was like, no, no that dude, I was <sighs> just like, I was looking around for somebody that With I knew camera? for somebody that like a comic that I knew yeah. who was like, go Fuck over this. the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we realized they were real, it was amazing. Look, it was I was amazing. like I was like yo I I don't want that to happen every time but that's the first every now and then that could be kind of fun. it was but so like, it was so and cool. they were super respectful they just asked for a photo we took a photo and they went on their night like it was and again look if you're gonna fangirl that's the way to end your fangirl experience it was so be cool. like I, I loved it they were super respectful super nice guys they also went and saw Chris Angel yeah but by the way that kind of seems like our demographic or the people that go to see Chris Angel a hundred percent which I I love which because that's just yep. people who are have, here to have some fun yeah 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 but uh, shout same out, with Carrot Top yeah in fact shout out to those two dudes um you guys were fucking awesome I hope you had a great night in Vegas and won some money they looked like they were having a good fucking time <laughs> yeah they did. Uh, yeah and so. That was good. And then you, we walked outside, smoked a little weed, and then... Walked to the Bellagio. But then as we got to the Bellagio... My heart started... My chest started to get tight. My throat started to get tight. I started to feel dizzy. Damn. That's not my thing either. It's not either of our things. We're not... That that weed paranoia thing is... That's just... That's not us. That, that doesn't work. That's not how that goes. I, I will tell you what I think it was. And this has kind of happened every time I've taken mushroom chocolate. I was chocolate. just going to say... The mushroom, the cho- the mushroom chocolate, for whatever reason, one, it's the only thing that then when I take straight mushrooms, I can go to sleep. Mushroom chocolate, you're up. I can't sleep. Interesting. And I'm never really high. I'm just right about to go over the edge. But yeah, never. but, but you, do you stay? It's almost like a microdose. Like you have to, you stay. You're right at the top of it, but you never really go over. But that it hill. also makes me feel super anxious. The mushroom chocolate. Yeah, I understand that. So I, that is the last go around with those. Yeah. I mean, I, I took one gram. It was, it was all right, but like it. it was all right. I, I didn't like it. Weed was great, though. Weed I'll, was well, amazing. I, I'll have you, we'll have you, you know, I'll roll another one for you that you can have so you can we're good. We're try good. it. We're good. Sober. Yeah, yeah, we're good. But but um, I hated that feeling. Dude. So you guys you guys literally handed us oh, we some did. cash. We, Irish and then, goodbye. Dude, the guy who we got, our cab driver? Okay. 
So I'm already paranoia, nervous. Yep. He is, and and there, by the way, there's nothing wrong with being, if you're mentally challenged, but you shouldn't be driving my cab. Okay. Can, can you elaborate on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mentally handicapped? Uh, that t- t- could wasn't couldn't speak to us. Okay, wasn't understanding what we were saying. Okay, was super erratic as far as the lane he was in. Okay, he would go from twenty to fifty back down to th- on the freeway back down to thirty to sixty. Yo, dude, it was nerve wracking and. So we gave we 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 had to punch our address into his phone. Yeah, and then he just kept holding up the phone and asking where he was going. Wasn't that the whole point of point, put, putting it putting it in the phone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Did yeah. you did you notice the freeway was completely closed when you guys were driving back? It wasn't the northbound. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Going north was completely shut down. But dude, so like it took us in the cab, no joke, between ten and fifteen minutes to get out of the Bellagio. He what? was just struggling. He couldn't. Dang. He couldn't. And so it was like a, I was already on high alert, mm-hmm. but like this dude should not have been driving. Maybe he's better on the city streets, but yo, he got to that freeway and he started rubbing his head a lot and doing a lot of just, uncomfortable he was breathing heavy and mumbling under his breath and i was just like yikesies yikesies whoa yeah you could tell he was not happy on the freeway he was he he also might have been mad because with the cab driver that i had i was like so where do you usually go he's like we usually just hop from casino to casino we usually don't go very far off the strip that's for sure and then the freeway was closed so he was probably pissed that he would how he didn't know how he was going to get back or how long it was going to take for him to get back to the strip. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, totally. But he, 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 he should not have been. I totally, I totally am driving. With you. I totally am Yo, with you. To go, he would go down to twenty and then mumble to himself and rub his head a bunch and then and then come back down and then he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just like. Next time you should let me drive. This is, I'm just telling you, I made some bad choices. Next time you should let me drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, oh, dude, by the way, the boil on my back. Ew. We got to talk about it? I mean, we should probably talk about it. How does it feel, by the way? Do you want to see it? No, 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 no. Okay. It's better. Okay, give me the one. Oh, is it? (laughs) That's better? Dude, so much better. Was it bigger than that? Yeah, dude. What the fuck is on your back? This is what is this? The, oh god. It what? was not only not only is it better. Yo, do you remember what it looked like 2 days ago? No, I didn't see it 2 days ago. I only saw it when we were out of town. I saw it Yo, in San Jose. I, I could feel my heart beat in it. And it was like red like it was spreading. So the red is down. Did you go to a doctor? Yeah, I went to a doctor. But because were... I was feeling like Sick, sick. Oh, but you were feeling sick from it? Yes. Oh. But do you remember when you were like, I'll pop it for you? Yeah. Can you imagine popping that? Nope. I want to do it. I, I back out. I, I You're t- backing out now? I take back what I said. Why? You think that you think that hits the mirror? That it, breaks the mirror. Yeah. It shatters everything. <laughs> also, if I pop it, I think it's going to shatter my hopes and dreams. Like, what? I just don't Yeah, you'd wanna... have to get you. You'd have to do it with glasses. I have to or wear one of the visors? fucking masks, like a welding. Bro, I'm going to put on the fucking, the thing that we bought uh, that I don't want to say because we filmed it, but yeah. remember we went to the, that Emporium. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could just put, imagine that. I just put that Dude, on. Guess what? What? If you pop this, it would look like a Bukaki video. <laughs> <laughs> you could get on Dr. Pimple Popper with that. Fuck that. Easily. You could get on there. I don't want... This feels like it would be... It's kind of painful. Kind of painful? Yeah. Does yeah. it look bad? Yes. Does it look worse now? Than when I first saw it? Yeah. Yes. It does? Yes. I saw it like day two. Now it's like day 12. I know. So even if you just started taking antibiotics, it's a big difference for me. Yeah, it was not great. Yeah. 
Have we have we talked since we've been in San Jose? Have we been here? No. Yo, guys. Was last weekend San Jose? Yes. Yeah. Guys, first of all, San Jose, the shows were amazing. Awesome. Loved it. The the crowds were spectacular. I, I amazing. That city, what a fucking during the day, ghost town. Zero people. Not a single person. No, outside. no, it's really like where just they the people film getting the on public dead. transport. Yeah, yep. it's it. It's there's some tumbleweeds, but also there's all so the many, restaurants are closed. But also like close to like five. But also there's a lot of closed, just uh, uh, properties. Like there's so many yeah, yeah, yeah. empty establishments. Like and a then, Johnny Rockets was closed in a college town, and then nighttime happened. But also it was nighttime happened, but it was also only like three blocks of the city. Fucking crazy. Was where the nightlife was. You walked off those three blocks, ghost town. Yeah. It was like it was like you were next it was like one time, one minute you were in Scooby Doo and you were just walking around some <laughs> abandoned city. And the next thing you were in fucking narcos and you were just uh in San Jose. How safe did you feel on those three blocks? Zero percent. Dude, there was and and, uh, and Bro, I threw my hood on. I threw my hood on. We looked at the wall when we walked, and I was like, because I had a duffel bag on, yeah. bro, filled with a whole bunch of shit. Yeah. I was like, we got to just get back to the hotel, and I will feel better. Yeah, dude. And, and it was just a weird night. It was Friday the 13th. There was a weird energy because they had, you know, there had been a... There, there was a lot. It was yeah, just it was a, a weird lot. energy. There was a lot of things in that day. So much testosterone on that street. <sighs> So we walked by a group of like 30 dudes. They were all together. And every now and then I just heard one of them go, yeah, yeah what, what the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, and I was, was like, like, I don't know, bro. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Like it was pretty we, intense. We had to go. Yeah. yeah. But, I, but it's like, what are the, it's the first time I've really never like felt safe. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't even know why. I mean, I don't know if we had heard that there was, da- it was dangerous down there, but um, it didn't feel good. Maybe it was just, maybe it was the drugs. Oh, we were on drugs. All of us were on mushrooms. Oh, that's right. So. I probably didn't help. Yeah, 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 no, definitely didn't help. But yeah, it was a uh, yeah, it was weird. And the boil started there. Dun dun. <laughs> That's where the boil. Uh, that was the beginning of the boil. Damn it, San Jose. Uh, <laughs> but but um, yeah, 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 yeah. So but San show, Jose but was shows great. Were great. Shows great were great. meeting everybody. Thank you guys to everybody who came out and saw us at that show. That was a quite cool, that venue was dope. That improv was dope. San Jose improv was amazing. Super cool. And and I will tell you something else, like. The the Q and A parts of the show are really getting yep. spectacular. Mm-hmm. I, I I will tell you, you are you are getting so much better. Thank you, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, you really are getting so I'm much better. I'm having fun. That's the most important thing. Yep. Yeah, Thank you're you. getting so much better. So congratulations. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um. All right. So last, night, can I say one more thing before we get into your stuff? Sure. You give a fuck about the baseball playoffs. Kind of, like, you know me, I always chime in to, like, see what's going down. Um, the Astros have evened up the series, and the I'm pretty sure the Diamondbacks are up 2-1. Down 2-1. Down 2-1. Yeah. Who are they playing again? Phillies. Thank you. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, tells yeah. me how into the baseball playoffs you were. Yeah. Yeah, when you can't think of one of the four teams. <laughs> and the team that's the hottest right yeah, now, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's so interesting, because we... we we're such huge baseball people. We're just big sports people. I can tell you what it is for me that turned it off. You just don't know anybody on that team anymore? The Mookie Betts thing? Xander? So. Everything? Uh, we were Red Sox fans. <laughs> and I'm still a Red Sox fan. Still Sox fans. But I no longer have undying loyalty with this ownership group. Okay. And now I know this ownership group has delivered championships, which is amazing. Um, but for them to go into this season and to pretend like they don't have enough money to match other teams' offers, especially for homegrown talent, is insult. And then to sign people who are terrible is insulting to the fan base, especially when you have the highest ticket price in baseball. And then you're crying poor, and then pretending just say, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna shit the bed for three years." Yeah, just just but tell us. But don't try to sugarcoat it with like, hey, dude, Verdugo's going to be great. Nah. And so, like, if you're not going to commit 100% to the team, why the fuck am I? Yeah, yeah, you've been and saying so that for the last couple of years. I understand That's that. what it is for me, man. It's, I, it's me. It is no longer. I don't know why I should be expected to blindly follow these motherfuckers if you are not going to put the same amount in as I am. 
Yeah, I understand that. So I, that's ca- all I, I kind of lost interest after we didn't want to pay Mookie. Yeah, that, I'm that's, with you. That's, that's my thing. It's like, bro, that 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 man is worth three hundred million dollars. Dude, pay him his three hundred million dollars so we can keep him for a decade, and you can make us happy fans. Say what you want about the Yankees, when they have homegrown talent, they get them. They. Pay the homegrown talent to stay. There's only one guy I don't think they'll ever be able to get who's a home, not a homegrown, but he's a Jersey guy. Trout. I don't think Trout's ever leaving. The I Angels. think Trout's a Philadelphia guy. Thought Trout was a Jersey boy. I think he's a Philadelphia dude. You want to make a bet? He's an Eagles fan. I don't. Okay, he's from New Jersey though. Maybe, like, maybe New Jersey doesn't have a team. I think he's a Philly dude, but uh, how much you want to bet? I don't know. What do you want to bet? I will bet you. Let me see what I got in my pocket. I'll bet you fifty bucks. Fifty bucks? You in it? Sure. Okay. Are you going to pay me the 50 if you lose? Yeah, I'll just PayPal you. That means no. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have cash on me. Uh, I, <laughs> I carry cash on me always. Hit me, hit me with uh, where Mike Trout's where from. Where is Mike, Mike Trout, Trout from? He's from Pennsylvania. From, he's from Millville, New Jersey. Millville is a U.S. city, is a city in the Cumberland County in the U.S. state of New Jersey. <sighs> Suck it. <laughs> Damn it. So I, I owe you 30 bucks? 50 bucks. I owe you 25 bucks? 50 bucks. 20 bucks? 50 bucks. All right. 50 bucks. All right. I think I got it in my pocket if you want it now. Uh, you also don't have to give it to me. I knew I was right. You did? Yeah. I knew he was a Jersey kid. 100%. That's that is easy. a fucking bummer. Um, all right. But, Can we but, also, though, talk about if we're going to talk about we're still on baseball topic? How do the Angels have two of arguably the greatest baseball players of all time and they can't make the playoffs? Because the rest of the team eats dicks. Why? How are they not? Who, who doesn't want to go play with Shohei Otani or Mike Trout? Also, Mike Trout's injured as fuck all the time. Yeah, so, man. I mean, but but like, if you're paying those two dudes that, you got to pull back a little bit somewhere else. You know, it's not like they got to go get some role players. Then you know what I'm but you saying? Know you, like, fight, you you know, it's not like in, it seems to happen more in basketball and football. Like somebody will take less to go play with Mahomes and get a ring. Or somebody will take yeah. less and go play with LeBron and get a ring. 100%. That doesn't seem to happen as much in baseball, I don't think. It but, should. Yeah. Um, tell me about Disney. Oh, dude, Disney was great. We went to Disney for, uh, just wrap it in another one. There's not, yeah. Uh, we went to Disney for like three days, me and Iman. Um, we had a great time. Um, I will say, though, Disney for three days is too long. Look, I will. it was our last time going. Our passes are about to expire, so... Yeah. We, it, it was definitely worth the trip. We got there like late and did like a, a Monday night. And then, well, also we did, we, we did this thing last time where we'll go in the morning, hit a bunch of rides, go home, take a nap for a couple hours and then go back to the park at like six or seven when the sun That's goes down because we do all the things in the morning when the lines are short and, or like we get that fast pass thing. We go home cause it gets the hottest during the day, like peaks on hours. And then we love going to Disney at night with all the lights. So we just go back at dinner time and just. What's your, because you, how many times you've been in Disney? In the last year? A gazillion, right? Well, uh, not a gazillion. Like, but like what, but like what, what do you, what do you look forward to? Like if you, uh, bit, no, do you know no, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, it's not that it's anything new. I mean, sometimes there's like a food and wine festival. So they have like booths popping up where there's like. Uh, seasonal foods that come for just a couple months and then everything it vanishes. Um, there's like limited edition uh, merch or like sippers or pins or. Do you ever? Um, did you ever get one of those giant pickles? Yeah, Iman gets one every time we go. I fucking love the giant. How much Sh- is a giant pickle right now? Four ninety nine. That's it? Yeah, it's not bad. They also have now a spicy pickle. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> um, those giant pickles sounds like not for a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had gonorrhea. That those okay, dude. <laughs> Get it? Because your pickle was spicy. Yeah, that sounds like a sounds like not a good nickname. Uh, gonorrhea. gonorrhea. Um, um, I don't know why I said it like that. Either do I. <laughs> uh, tell me something though, but like, but like we look forward to the rides. Like, look, what's your favorite ride? Uh, well, I don't want to see Space Mountain, but it was closed because they're refurbishing it, so I didn't get to do that one more time, which was a bummer. But we did get to do Indiana Jones, which I haven't done in. You're a in a couple. cart for that one. Yeah, it's in the car. Yeah, but also for the last like five or six years, Indy's been really broken. The boulder wouldn't fall. It's always down. Like there was, there's usually three doors you can go into. There's only one door. Yeah. But this time when we went, because they oh they closed it and reopened it, refurbished it. We went in. It didn't get closed down. It looks really good on the inside. Like, they've redone a lot of things. And they fixed that you can get three different paths to the rooms. And we got this really trippy, like, purple crystal room. It was 
fucking awesome. And it's probably, I'm assuming it's not like, Oh, and the Dude, churros. If they, if they did it, the churros are so good. If they did a ride with the with the recent Indiana Jones, he'd get hit by that boulder. It would just be a bunch of people. They would in, they wouldn't put you in a cart. They'd just hand everybody a walker, and <laughs> it you would, ju- it would with just, tennis balls on the bottom, it, and you would just roll around the ride. It would just be a guided walking tour. Oh my god, That's all it is. I, yeah, ridiculous. Dude, the fact that they went they went back in time in that movie. <sighs> I haven't even seen it. You told me how bad it was, and I didn't even go see it. it, it I showed him on Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark. She hated it. Yeah, she's wrong. It's a good movie. Uh, the, the first three of them are oh, really good. Yeah, Raiders it's a good is movie. great. Not all of them are great. I love them. Temple of Doom. I have an Indiana Jones crew neck now that I also By got the from way, Disney. the votes are in. Sweatshirt, not sweater. From where? From, the, from online, when we posted, we posted. Where's the where are the heart? Where are the facts? You never showed me that. Wait, you gotta go. Do you not look at the video after we post it on the you on the, on the YouTube? I do, but you posted on different platforms. You said you said you were counting all the votes. So I that's only what I'm saying. I only po- but we only posted it on the full the full episode on YouTube. So you just gotta go look. Everybody says sweatshirt, 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 yeah, sweatshirt. Everybody might be wrong. Everybody's wrong. Possibly. Everybody except for you is wrong. I mean, that is a nice way to go through life, isn't it? Right. I wish that was how we could go through life. That, it, I, I, dude, some people do go through life, which thinking, is nuts. Like, ugh. some say ignorance is bliss, but that's like a little too much ignorance. I just don't sweatshirt. Whatever. Um, what's your so you won one today? I won one today. What What is your so when Magic Mountain's down? What are you doing at Disney? Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Um, look, they also have like games. Like they have a Toy Story Mania ride. So it's like you sit there, you go through five different stages, and it's like you shoot a little gun and you hit these points, and then you get to like your mom got the highest score of the hour when we went. She broke like two hundred k, two hundred thousand points on the ride. She beats me every time, every and, time. And do you win anything? No, it's just for fun. It is completely just for fun. And then there's another one that's Astro Blaster, so it's Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. So you walk around with little, or you ride around with little laser guns, and you, there's a little joystick, so you can turn your cart in circles. I love and like, that. I, it's it's that sounds fun. It is really fun. And yeah. so we do that. Um, we got some new high scores on that too. She hit like. like do you like, make like a B when you walk in? Do you make a beeline anywhere? We oh, look. Here's the thing. We always plan to get there at rope drop, and rope drop is like the minute they open the park. The, yeah. The ropes, right? They drop so people can go through. We, it never happens. We usually get there about 30 or 40 minutes after rope drop. How many which people are at rope drop, you think? A bunch. A bunch. A thousand? Probably. At least. But but I also remember, like, if you buy a park hopper pass, you can go between both parks. But you have to start at one park, and then you get to switch over at 11 a.m. But there are also two parks, so some people just get Disney passes. Some people right. just get California Adventure passes. What did you guys do? We, with, the, with our pass, we can park hop whenever we want. And what do you like to ride at California? Uh, it used to be called California Screaming. Like the whole park, California Adventure used to be California themed. Yeah. So the ride that I loved was called California Screaming. Now it's called California Adventure, but everything is considered to be like Pixar related. Got so it, it's like it. the other side of Disney. So now it's called the Incredicoaster. But I like that one a lot. Um, that one's fun. It's got a little loop. It goes oh, really fast. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I know you don't. Um, but that's also where the Toy Story game is. Um, what else is over there? There's like a giant Ferris wheel with like swinging carts. So it's a Ferris wheel, but your whole cart swings back and forth. What, what percentage of people have kids and what percentage are adults who are at Disney? Oh, can I honestly? If you're, are you counting teenagers like eight, like 17, 18 year olds or like, like teenagers also going? They're kids. I count them as kids. Oh. I count you as an adult. I would say I would say that like, there are probably more adults there because there are more adults bringing kids with them, right? Yep. I mean, adults. I, I don't mean more adults. I, I mean adults I, by I, themselves or adults. Because here's the thing. I don't know. I think I I I can't imagine going without a kid. I can't imagine, and maybe I'm way older than you. Yeah. But I can't imagine being like waking up as a grow as an adult and being like, you know what I'm gonna do today? Going to Disneyland. I can't, I can't even imagine. Uh, I, I, your mom would do it. Your mom loves it. Your mom loves I don't know, man. I don't know the answer to that question. I'd have, I'd have to ask you on, honestly. Like that would that's an Iman question. I think for that's that one. A, I think that people have definite opinions about solo adults at Disneyland. And some people are fucking like, what is wrong? 
And some people are like, what's the problem? Yeah, but like it's so funny because I see like the parents where they have their giant scroll strollers. They have two kids. They have these bags filled with snacks because they're like, we're not buying shit at Disneyland. Yeah. Like we're eating all the food we brought from home and they... They make it this giant excursion. Then you see the teenagers who are there. Then you see like the whole family where it's like little kids and teenagers. Or you see that giant group trip of people who all made like custom t-shirts. And then every now and then you just see that random group of like two or three old people, like 75 year olds. No. Like, Dude, I saw one this weekend. We were at California Adventure. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing here? Like, I, 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 don't, I, I, I you can at least you apparently see the the grandmother with like the family, yeah. like the, but they never go on rides. They just ride around in their stroller. There's just three seventy five year old people, two women and a man, just walking around California Adventure. I, was I like, love that. I was like, I don't even know what you guys are doing here. You know what else? Disney is the home of Th the most aggressive seagulls in the. They there's th those seagulls are gone. They're not at the park anymore. I, I don't run into any seagulls, dude. The I've the had ducks. No, the birds that swoop down and take the French fries out of your hand. Oh, those that doesn't happen anymore. G there's ducks now, dude. Well, there's always been ducks, but when, like there's ducks. When we, I remember we went. There was this bird that every time you reached for a French fry and picked it up like this, it would <laughs> take a dive at it. That's hilarious. Oh my god! It there was a and Caitlin wanted to feed the bird rather than tell it to. Get away. Dude, she just kept holding it up. I was like, you're going to get shit on. And dude, and what about that pigeon that was in my backyard? Oh, yeah. You had a you had a pigeon with uh, some sort of issue. P Peter the pigeon, man. What happened to Peter the pigeon? I called the animal control and they came over and grabbed him. Just pick him up with a towel. I'm not picking up a fucking pigeon. <laughs> what am I going to do with it if I pick him up with a pot towel? You put it in a box. You and do what it. with it? You wait for animal control to show up. Oh, yeah, no, but why couldn't I just wait for them to come without me touching a fucking pigeon? They're dirty, man. Yeah, I know, but like, he was looked hot in the sun. Huh? He looked hot in the sun. You put him in there. It's up him... to him to walk around. Yeah, but then you could give him some water. I gave him like... water and seeds. Oh, okay. And when I put the seeds down, he started turning around like he was chasing his tail. He got excited that you gave him a treat? Yeah, he was turning around in, in a tight circle like an awesome. ice skater. That's awesome. He was like, <laughs> quick pirouette. And. Is that what that is? A pirouette? Isn't that the spin? A pirouette is when you... Oh, that's a cliche. What is a pirouette? A cliche? Cliche? You know when they... It's like when they... When they do the cliche? A pirouette is a French word for the ballet reference to whirl about. A pirouette is a two-track lateral movement. What's a cliche? Is it a cliche? I'm going to keep plie. saying... Plie. Plie? What is a plie? Plie is when you do that little thing with your legs. Doodle -doodle, right? Yeah, plie. What is a plie in ballet? Are you sure it's called a plie? A cliche. A bend ballet, a plie, uh, is a bending of the knees, usually performed in one of the six positions of the feet. Show me a plie right now. I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, when you when you hold the bar and you stick your feet out? Like, show me. I think it's like this. Show me a plie. Like, Hold on, you got to get over here I, so I can see. No, well, no, you can't see it because it's like a foot thing. Yeah, 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 but let's try, let's try, let's try. But it's like, a, it's like, you, like you like put your feet out and then uh -huh. you do like a... Oh, yeah, like, there we go. Oh, oh nice. look so at those. So your feet are like, like this, right? They're like... Out with each other, and yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a, it's like a, it's like a that. Do it again. That because you bend your knees out, but your feet are like. Yeah, do that again. Do that again with the arm. Why? Why do you keep making? Uh, because I'm watching it. It looks amazing. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Yeah, dude. Uh, I'll show you what it, I think it is. Ready? But like, like, do you want me to show you a plie? Yeah. Do you know what my? Do you know what I mean by the feet thing though? Like mm -hmm. how the feet are supposed to be. Come over here so I can see what you mean by what you mean by feet. <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. I just want to see. I just want to see. Do the, no, no. Just do the feet first so I know what you're doing. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. You got it right. So you would do this. Do I need to be over here, Matt? You think you're a better shot? Yeah, yeah. Come on over. By the way, I didn't. I'd have worn different pants if I knew I was going to be <laughs> Okay, okay. So my feet are like this. Yep. Why don't you scoot over this I'm way? I'm going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, dingus. My feet are like this. Yeah. And then I do this. Who did a better plie? Look at that. Or is it like. No. It's out. It's out? It's out. I never took ballet, but I think that's right. I. I think that's right. Ask mom when you get home. Tell me if I was right. I can't wait 
But by the way, for those of you who are listening to this, and we just watching, yeah, sorry, we were doing some dancing. We were doing some ballet plie. Yeah, yeah, you can you'll be able to check out the yeah. clip. Yeah, but I love Disney, man. Like uh, we also it was our last time using the passes, so we got a lot of stuff done. But also with going for three days, we got to really space out our day and yeah. not have to like pack everything into one. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, we got some cool things. They made they they opened a new part of Disney also uh, in California Adventure. They changed um, one of the things to be Big Hero Six related. Mm-hmm. So it's that it's Baymax, you know that giant white fluffy guy, and he goes, "Hello, I am Baymax, your personal personal healthcare assistant." I like him. He's like, I love that movie. That movie, you should watch that movie. It's an action movie. It's if fire. you like, is there something when you go to these parks? Is there something that you think is missing, like a certain ride or a certain? Do you know what I mean? Is there something I would love to see? Like, um, okay, last night, Chris Angel, I will say one thing amazing. They obviously built that studio, that theater for him. Yeah. I'm pretty the, sure it's called the Chris Angel Theater. The audio was crazy. The the video on the sides. Yeah. You know that one part with the trains? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really thought, because you could feel the rumble in the seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to become like a train ride. Like interactive? Yeah, because That's when you're on a cake, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought it was going to feel like we were on a train yeah. ride. I, for me, you know what I would love to do is I would love to do, I would love a amusement park to have like a parachute ride to find parachute where you're hooked up and you free fall for a second and then parachute. Yeah. But that sounds like a six flag kind of thing at six flags. They have this thing called the devil drop where you, where you get put on this giant rope swing and it like extends outwards and you get lifted up like a, a lot of feet in the air and yeah. then it just drops you and you swing, but you're laying on your mm-hmm. stomach. That's not what I'm talking about. No, no, I'm just saying like that, but it would yeah. have to be at something like that, like in order to do it. Or we could just go skydiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to jump out of a plane, but I wouldn't mind. You wouldn't. They would, you would be strapped to someone and they would jump out and you would have no I would, choice. I, there's a chance that I would shit on the person <laughs> strapped to my back. We're doing and then, skydiving. And then how, I'm sure he'd be like, fuck this. And he would just let you go. Click, let me go. Yeah. <laughs> but then that would be worse because then the shit would just fly up and hit him straight in the face. I, I don't think. I don't Sky know. in your future? I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it because I want to do it. Yeah. I don't. Here's the thing. Is the, uh, I've just seen things go wrong. And well, that's what scares me. But also, I have two friends that have done it. And they're like, it was super safe. And I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah Except the part but, of where you're being jumped out, jumping out of a plane. That's not safe. The dude strapped to your back. Is a professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's probably heard and seen everything. Everything. Do, do you know, I guarantee you he's been shit on before. Really? Tough job. Tough job. But I guarantee you the dude's been shit on. But he's had people pass out. I bet you he has people throw up for and sure, it comes for up. Sure. And for sure people have shit themselves. I'm going to ask when we go. We for should sure go. people we should have go. shit themselves. We should go and film yeah. it. Yeah. But I don't really think there's, like, look, I feel like there are some rides that are, I mean, look, but Disneyland is a kid's park. Like, there are kiddie rides. That's how that works. Yeah. But I, I also will say, like, with California Adventure, they have a couple more rides that are, like, especially in Credit Coaster, that's a little faster. Even at Disney, like, Thunder Mountain's pretty fast. Space Mountain's pretty fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but also, you haven't been since they put in a Star Wars land. I have not. There's two Star Wars rides. There's a whole... The Millennium Falcon is there. It's rebuilt. It's just, like, in the land. It's Wait, can you go in it? No, but you can look at it. It's fire. Yeah. But there's also the two rides. The two Star Wars rides are freaking cool one of them is a simulation where you get to be a gunner in a ship or a pilot i like that and the other is like you're uh in a rebel like a rebel spaceship you get caught by the by kylo ren and the imperial and they bring you in and then you get trapped but then you break out and then it's your breakout from like the starship so it's like a it's a cart but it's not really like a like a track ride but it it goes through like different rooms so you get to see a whole bunch of different things it's so it's so much better than when you went when we were kids it's so much better. Oh, it was it was just me and the three of you. It was torture. That's what I'm saying. It's so much better. Every time I got in the line, one of you had to pee. But here's the thing. Also, we wouldn't we will get in the fast pass lines. We don't do right waiting lines. We we we, we pay Listen, to win. I just thought of something. Completely unrelated. Okay. That happens a lot here if you're new. Also, it, is there a way that you and I could shoot some videos? I'll tell you where I started and how I got here. Okay. Is there a way that you and I could shoot some videos 
where it's almost like a choose your own adventure. We start the video. How do we do that? Yeah, yeah. So there's like, t- hold on. We start. Okay, can I can I throw something in there and yeah, just yeah. see if this is what you're talking about? So some people will be like, oh, I'm I'm taking my girlfriend out on a date, but I'm gonna let her choose her day. So the like the boyfriend will put two cards in front of her and like facing the camera, so facing me. If I was doing it for you, I can see what the options are. You pick one, and then we go do that. And then I just plan a bunch. We plan a bunch of events after that. I think we'd have to have somebody do that for the two of us, and then you and I would have to pick. No, I think what do you what mean? We is that what do, you mean by choose your own adventure? I think what we would so say we go, all right, everybody, we're going, we're in Des Moines. And I know where I'm going. And we're heading out. And then we give ah, yeah, but it would have to be different videos, I think. We would it would right? have, it would have to be let me, let me just finish. Okay, yeah. We're heading out. And then we would go, where do you want us to go? So they'd have three options. Mm-hmm. But I don't, it would have to be different videos. And then when we get there, there'd have to be three options off of that. What do you want us to do here? And then three options off of that. Right? So you could pick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But But question also, who's picking the stuff for us? Us or the people? No, when you're online, we already have that option for you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's how we do it, Matt. Right? We put cards at the end of the video, which direct people to three different links. And you can choose whichever one you want. And that link would take you. And then we'd put cards at the end of those videos that would take you to the three different places. I don't know if I'm fully understanding what you're talking about. Okay. I don't, I don't know if I fully understand the concept of the create your own adventure. Cause I you, feel like you and I have different I- concept you, ideas. YouTube, of that. We're in Des Moines. Okay. Okay. Are we filming? We're filming. We say to them intro, Hey everybody, we're in Des Moines. Um, and you know, what do you want to see us do? Do you want to see us go to a batting cage? Okay. All right. Do you want to see us go to this the hype store? Okay. Do you want to see us go to a haunted man- mansion? Okay. Okay. Now, when we get to the batting cage, yep. do you want to see us or mini golf, right? Yep. Do you want to see us play blindfolded? Do you want to see us play lefty? Do you want to see us talk shit? Okay. Right? And then from there, they, we have three options at the end of those. We have three options off of each one, which means we'd have to film just a lot of stuff. But we give everybody an opportunity to, re, to, to see us in a completely different video with multiple different uh, opportunities of what the outcome of the video could be. Is that doable, Matt? Do you think that's doable? Not, it, it's, is it doable? Yeah, is, is, uh, am, I, am I way out of line and thinking you can talk into the... It, it, do you feel like have you seen that anywhere? I've seen it in games. Like I see that's game, what I mean. Like, I've seen I see it in games. I see yeah. like apps, but I don't know. We'd have to create so many different links for videos. So like, here's the thing. Can I see your thingy? So like, if I if you if, if I'm no 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 no, I want to look at your yeah. yeah. So if and Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is how this would work. So based off of this, if we chose mini golf, right? All three mini golfs, to hype store and haunted mansion would be three different links. Then when you come down here. Uh, uh, for mini golf, all three of these would then also be separate links. But then the three other ones down here, in order to get to that create your own adventure, every single one of these dashes has to be its own link to take you to a different video. That's right. Okay. But, okay. but right, Th- that makes they, sense. Okay. But they would be shown at the end of the video. You at the end of a YouTube right, no. video, it shows you videos to click on. Anyways, a hundred percent. So, as so long- those would be the three videos that they would take you to. Okay. I mean, I guess technically that would be doable. We'd have to film. Oh, it ton of stuff though, which is fine, but we have to film a lot of stuff, but not, I mean, not that many. We don't have to do it that many times, yeah. but like, I understand where your process is and I, that technically could work. I think maybe what we would start just to see how it worked is we would, instead of starting at, what would you like to see us do? We would eliminate just, this. We're at mini golf. We pick something. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know how we got... I, that was just a random thought for you. That's what happened. I, right? I'll tell you how I got there. But Matt, have you seen anything like that on YouTube? I have not. I think that's interesting to try. Yeah, uh, I think it might work better as a TikTok, though. Because um, part one, part two, part three, and, and like... But okay. how would they... Would they still, how would they choose? Oh, we could put all three different videos in the comments. And then people would just get to choose their own adventure, but then also get to see... Like, look, if they didn't like the one they picked, they can go back and do another one. That's and what they I'm can saying, relive yeah. all of them so they can yeah. all... Yeah, no, that's... Yeah, we would just put the... We would, we would go look in the comments... 
for the choose your own adventure, choose which one you would go to next. And we would do like, this is choice one, choice two, choice three. And at the end of your YouTube videos, you can also just put up like, you know, watch this video or watch this yes, video. That's it. So like, yeah. Okay. Do you want to know how I got there? Y yeah, I do. Because we were talking about, we were at Disney. Yeah. And you were talking about the different rides. Okay. Right. And the things that you guys like to, uh -huh. and I was like, man, I don't go on rides. Yeah. Because they scared the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. And as I've gotten older, I think this happens to old, more, some older people, my equilibrium, like I get, yep. I get nauseous more. Yeah. So I was like, man, but I hate those rides because it makes me scared and nauseous, but wouldn't it be funny to film that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. right? It'd be kind of funny to film that. And then I was like, well, maybe some people wouldn't want to see me nauseous. Yeah, facts. Maybe we should just give them options. Maybe they want to see Jacob nauseous. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, we should give them an option for both. And then I was like, wait a second. <laughs> we should, and I'll tell you something. I was listening to you as you were talking, but I was also thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's how our brains work, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it works like that on stage, too, a lot of times. Yep, definitely. Definitely. Especially, especially in the mushroom shows. Wow, the mushroom shows, guys. And by the way, if you want to see the mushroom shows, they're all free. It's punchup.live slash Josh Dash Wolf. Yeah. That's what I think it we'll is. put that on the screen. But yep. punchup.live slash Josh Dash Wolf. Or hyphen or whatever hyphen, you want yeah. to call it. It's all free, guys. It's free. You just got to go watch it there instead of. But the mushroom shows are a ton of fun yeah, yeah, yeah. and there are three of them up there right now so please go check those out now are you um I, yep i think it's are we i think it's yeah oh, yeah are you oh okay do you want to do one more thing before we go though we got yeah. time yeah yeah let's yeah. do one more thing okay are you like what are what are, what are you looking forward to the most on our trip which we leave on sunday by the way oh my God. i'm packing tonight i haven't started packing i'm packing tonight i gotta go buy a new fucking suitcase yeah mine just came in the mail Came in the mail. You ordered it online. I didn't. Yeah, you don't think it's gonna come broken? Your what, mom. What kind of suitcase it. did you order? I don't know. Oh, your mom ordered it. I'm going to Ross. I'm gonna go look for a big ass yeah, suitcase. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Um, I look, man. I I really I'm excited to just see new country or new yeah, new countries and get new stamps. And you know me, man. I've always just wanted to travel the world and see some new things. So I'm excited. We get a couple days and like some bigger spots. We have a day off in Amsterdam. We got a day off in Oslo. We got a couple days off in Sweden. Um, a day off in London. I'm. I will say though, I'm. Really excited to see my buddy Jake. Um, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And London. you're gonna get to see him too because yeah. we're gonna go all go out to dinner. I'm I'm pretty excited. And for Dishoom. are you gonna go to the Leprechaun Museum with me in Dublin? Yeah, and I'm bringing the GoPro. Yeah, yeah. We gotta I gotta find the other one. Do we need the other one? I don't think so. Okay. Unless we're filming like challenge stuff and you want to each put a headgear on and put the GoPro in it, we can find it. I'll, okay. Yeah, it, it's gotta be somewhere. Check yeah. upstairs in your pile of crap. <laughs> It's got to be in your studio. Matt, have we seen the GoPro in the studio? We did? There you go. Oh, it's in there? Is it? You, you brought it in one time, and I think it might be on your stage somewhere. Oh, okay. Good. I know it's in there. Okay, perfect. It's the only place it would be. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay. What do you want to tell everybody? Um, like he said, by the time you guys hear this, we're probably going to be somewhere overseas across the pond, as they say. Um, that sounded really Australian towards the end. Uh, don't come see us for my British accent. Come see us to have a good fucking time. We can't wait to see you guys in the UK and in Europe. It's going to be a wild ride. Comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Uh, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. And as always, we love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Tell a friend. Tell somebody. Um, you know, you know the deal. We will do the spiel every time. But we thank you guys for taking your time to come and listen to us pretty much rambled for an hour. So <laughs> very grateful for all of you. Bless you. Thank you. Sorry. So very grateful for all of you. So very grateful for where I am right now. Um, you know, yesterday, dude, when you guys were asking me when we were out, what do you want to do? Or it's your birthday. Where do you want to go? And I know it sounds like a cop out when I was like, I just want to hang out with you guys. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter to me where I am. That's really where I am in life right now. I, I, I just, I want to be around people that I love doing fun stuff. Yeah. 
and just enjoying each other. I have learned so much about myself in the past year and I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful and happy and, and yeah, and, 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 and so thankful. So I'm, I'm psyched for what's coming up for us. I'm psyched for Europe. I'm psyched for everybody that watches and listens. I'm going to tell you something else. The show that we, the live show we put on, and I say this very confidently, man, you're not going to see anything like it anywhere else. It's very true. It, now, I'm not saying that this is going to be your cup of tea or the best show you've ever seen, but it, it's going to be different. And it's going to be something, not different, but it's going to be something you've never seen before. Yeah. And I, and, and, and I don't, for some people, it is going to be the best show they've ever seen. That's true. It's so I, I wouldn't say that. And I would say something else, man. You know, I, I don't get offended when people say they don't. They're like, I don't think you're funny. That's it's purely subjective. But if you like storytelling, you like uh, realness. Um, you like authenticity. You like fun. And and um, that's what you're going to get. It's yep. a fun, authentic, real show. Yep, that's oh. different every night. Yeah, and we're gonna so. have a good time. Well, I, well, I'll I'll close it out right close here it because out I think because my camera's done. <laughs> Thank you guys again. Uh, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates and tickets. And like I always say, uh, <laughs> and like I always say, do something nice for someone today. Tell somebody you love them. I love you guys. We love you. Thank you for everything. And we will see you guys on the next episode of. Hey, man, we'll talk to you. <laughs> Later, everybody.